Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel today. John's Firearms 705. Uh, today we're doing a review of this particular magazine. It's made by Triple K of the US. It fits the Norinco Olympia 22LR. Uh, cheap gun, comes with two magazines and uh, I saw this aftermarket one and I thought I'd pick it up. It's uh, the factory mags for the pistol that it comes with hold eight rounds. Like I said, 22 LR. Uh, this aftermarket magazine uh, advertised as holding nine rounds. However, for whatever reason, I was able to fit 10 in here. It uh, goes down far enough to fit 10 rounds. That being said, I was at the range today with this, doing a uh, earlier review of it, and I was having a lot of problems with uh, the magazine, uh, releasing from the, the firearm, uh, loading issues, cycle issues, uh, uh, numerous issues. So in all fairness, I thought I'd take it home, uh, take it apart, see how easy it was to take apart, make sure everything was clean, there was no gunk in here. And uh, that's what led to this video. Uh, first and foremost, I would not buy one of these. I would uh, look for something different, something better. Uh, it comes apart the standard way, most single stacks and some double stacks, you know, yeah. Pop in the little dimple, pull off your floor plate. Inside you got the floor plate with the dimple. Uh, of course, in the uh, 22, it's just got one spring that runs up the front here. And you got your follower that comes out. And on this particular model, you got a uh, little hex head screw here you got to take out if you want the follower to uh, come past here and come out. So, took it apart. It was easy enough. Pushed in the dimple, pulled out the plate, took out the other floor plate, pulled out the spring. And that was the first thing I noticed about this magazine. The spring is very punky, very weak, very small. Uh, I believe that's what was leading to some of my uh, issues with this particular magazine today. Um, when I went to put it back together, the spring was so weak that the internal floor plate that has the dimple on it just kept wanting to back up into here. It was very hard to hold it in place get this external floor plate on and then once I did this little internal plate with the dimple did not want to pop into place to lock this in place. What I had to do was take this piece of coat hanger and jam it in and make sure the back of the floor plate was up and then slide this on. You got to lift it up a bit because it catches the internal floor plate. Finally got it in place. Had to go in here again and use this to kind of push that plate down so that it would lock in place like this the spring in here just does not have enough power to do what you need it to do and i also noticed afterwards that that spring is so weak that it does not really hold that plate in very good it takes very little force to pull this plate off you know so that could be a, a bit of an issue out at the range you don't want that bottom plate coming off your spring going and that's it you got a junk magazine i also noticed on this particular one on the top here see there's a little hole there and that's just a, an air pocket that happened in manufacturing yet they still let this one go out the door with that air pocket it's another little air pocket up a little further and then also on the end of the follower i don't know if you can see it there there's a big piece missing right in the corner here. It's kind of hard to see it on camera. Now, I don't know if it was manufactured like that, if that's the way it's supposed to be, or if a piece flew out sometime. Like, I only have, if you know, at most a couple hundred rounds through this magazine. So, in all, in all honesty, in my review, the Triple K magazine for the Norinco 22LR, I'm sorry guys, but this is junk. You need better quality plastic for your follower up here. You need a heavier duty spring. And uh, I think those two issues and maybe a little bit of a redesign on the internal floor plate so it fits inside there a little tighter and doesn't want to wobble around so much. Uh, for $39.95 in Canadian currency currently plus shipping, garbage, wouldn't buy it.